Wine Zoo. Today, we are talking about deserts and the animals that live there. But what is a desert? When we think of deserts, most of us talk about somewhere vast and dry with lots of sand and scorching sun. That could be a desert, but not necessarily. A desert is anywhere that gets less than 10 inches of precipitation per year. So that's anywhere that gets less than 10 inches of rain or snow per year. So that means that deserts can be cold. Antarctica is actually a desert. So some of the animals we'll see today come from cold deserts. So deserts are fascinating places. Lots of people think that they're just vast, lifeless areas because there's so little precipitation that there's not many plants. But just because there aren't many plants doesn't mean that there's not many animals. Deserts are actually places with huge quantities of fascinating and unique animals. And we're gonna meet some today. All the way across the world in the Southern Hemisphere, there's a continent called Australia. And the whole interior of Australia is a vast area made up of all types of ecosystems. Everything from tropical rainforests to hot, dry deserts. The Australian outback is exactly the kind of desert you would imagine. Miles and miles of hot red sand and scorching temperatures up to 120 degrees Fahrenheit make this exactly the type of desert you would picture in your head. And the Australian outback is full of fascinating creatures that live in this desert. This is one of them. This is Tim Tam, the bearded dragon. And he's one of our ambassador animals here at the Brandywine Zoo. Bearded dragons are a classic desert animal. These small lizards live all over the Australian outback and they're extremely well adapted to their desert habitats. Bearded dragons hardly ever need to drink water. They get almost all the moisture they need from the plants that they eat, but they also eat bugs. Their flexibility being able to eat plants or insects makes them able to survive in this harsh environment. They also are the exact color of the sand, making them able to blend in and avoid predators. Bearded dragons live in burrows under the ground, so when temperatures soar up to 120 degrees Fahrenheit, they have somewhere cool where they can retreat to. Our next animal comes from an area that isn't hot and sandy, but cold and rocky. Way down in South America, up in the Andes Mountains, lives a tiny animal called a chinchilla. In this cold desert, these tiny little animals run around gathering food the whole summer long. The chinchilla has some of the thickest fur in the world, and that's how they adapt to their life in the cold deserts of the Andes Mountains. Humans grow one hair for every hair follicle, but the chinchilla can grow up to 50 hairs per hair follicle. And that's what gives them their thick, soft fur. Their fur is so thick that ticks and other insects can't make their way through the fur to bite their skin. It's so thick that chinchillas can't take baths in water. They would never dry. Instead, chinchillas bathe in dust or dirt. It's kind of like dry shampoo for chinchillas. Chinchillas spend the whole summer gathering any kind of plant that they can find, and they keep them in huge stores underground where they'll live for the long, cold winters up in their dry desert habitats. So during the winter, they'll live underground and use their long whiskers to find their way through their burrows. Their fuzzy tails and huge ears help them listen for predators and keep warm in their deserts. So even if your desert is cold and rocky, you'll still find fascinating little animals who are perfectly adapted to life without water. Chinchillas get all the water they need from the plants that they eat and don't need to drink or bathe in water. And this is Knight the Chinchilla, one of our ambassador animals here at the Brandywine Zoo. Some deserts also come with lots of predators. In the southeastern United States and Mexico, 
The deserts are full of wolves and coyotes. This is Magnolia, the armadillo. Armadillos have solved the problem of an abundance of predators by having thick armor coating made of keratin and cartilage. So the thick armor of armadillos is made of <laughs> cartilage covered by keratin, which is what your hair and fingernails is made of. Now, armadillos are well adapted for life in the deserts. Magnolia has a long, sticky tongue for catching any kind of bugs that she can find in the desert. She also has very sharp claws for digging down in the dirt and the dust of the deserts of the southwestern United States. That way she can find any prey insects that she needs to find while staying safe from all of those predators. You'd be hard put to find an animal better adapted to their desert habitat than an armadillo. So today we met animals from three different deserts, three different types of deserts. Now deserts might not have the large grazing animals of grasslands, and they might not have the colorful flashy animals of jungles and forests, but they are unique ecosystems in their own ways. Right, Magnolia? I hope you learned something new about deserts today, and I hope that you're inspired to learn more about these fascinating ecosystems. From me and Tim Tam and Night the Chinchilla and Magnolia the Armadillo, I hope that you enjoyed our program today, and I hope that you come back for more programming with the Brandywine Zoo. Thank you, and see you next time.